Another great option made available to you by Endian is the Endian Enterprise Software Solution. With this solution, you get the power of an Endian Firewall Device Universal Threat Management System on your own computer hardware. All you have to do is download the image of the Endian Operating System and then install it to your computer. So I have a disk here. I've downloaded the Endian Enterprise Software and I'm going to install it on this computer. Now, to do this, I've first off installed two network interface cards into this computer, and I've also put two hard drives into the computer to take advantage of the auto RAID mirroring and automatic detection of the two disks. So, I'm ready to install. Now, I'm going to walk you through the whole process of how to download the Endian UTM image and install it to your own computer hardware. So we have a computer that we want to turn into an Endian Unified Threat Management System. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the website at endian.com and let's go to Products, Security Gateways, Software Appliances. And on this page we can find all of the information that we're going to need for the Endian Software Solution. We can scroll down and learn more about the Endian Software Solution. An overview, the features that are included with the Endian operating system, and then the performance and hardware specifications. As you can see, the Endian software solution works with most CPU architectures. It has RAM requirements, a minimum of 256 megabytes, 512 megabytes recommended. It works with different disk types, SCSI, SATA, SAS, or IDE. It supports a software RAID, RAID 1 mirror, if you have two hard drives of a similar size, it will auto-detect the two disks and ask you, prompt you, if you want to set up a RAID 1 mirror. This is great for redundancy because everything on the first disk is mirrored and written to the second disk as a backup. A CD-ROM, you're going to need a CD-ROM for your installation. Network cards, you're going to probably want two, three, or four network interface cards gigabit and fiber is supported. Monitor and keyboard. You're only going to need a monitor and keyboard during the installation. Afterwards, you're going to manage the Endian device from another computer using a web browser management interface and operating system. The Endian Unified Threat Management System software runs from the Linux kernel, the latest version 2.6.32. If your hardware works with Linux, then it will probably work with the Endian Firewall device. Now, if you already have your hardware and you want to test to make sure that it's going to work with the Endian software, all you have to do is contact an Endian sales representative and they'll send you a download link so that you can download the software image ISO file and give you a trial license so that you can take it for a test drive to see and make sure that it works with your hardware. Once you've contacted the Indian salesperson, they will send you an email with a link to a page that looks like this. This page has the download link for you to download the Indian Enterprise Software Solution. You can see as I scroll down that there is a link right here and you'll also have in the email an activation code. You can see I've pasted my activation code right here and now all I have to do is click this button to start my download. Now, before I start the download, I want to point out that there's an MD5 checksum for you to check your download to make sure that you received all the data from the download. So I'm going to copy that. I'll do a control C on my keyboard and I'll paste it to a notepad document. Okay, there's my checksum. And now what I'm going to do is press this download link and save the operating system to my hard drive. Now, the operating system is an image file, .iso. So let's click it. And you can see the download is activated and we're going to save the file. So we'll click OK. And now it's saving to my downloads folder. OK, the Endian software appliance has finished downloading and I've copied it from my downloads folder to the desktop. So you can see the image file right here on my desktop. Now what we want to do is compare this file that we downloaded 
against the MD5 checksum that was provided on the download page. Now I had copied and pasted the MD5 checksum into a notepad document and if you want to check it against the file that we've downloaded to make sure that we downloaded the entire image you can get a program like this program right here MD5 checksum verifier. It's a freeware program that you can download off of the internet. So I'll run the program and I'll select the image file to calculate. So I'll navigate to my desktop and put in the disk image file and it will run a checksum against this image file and the resulting number is a match to the number that was provided for me on the Indian.com website. All I have to do is match the last few numbers F6D61 against the checksum that I just ran F6 D61 and we know that it's exact match. If there was any difference in the size of the Endian UTM 2.5 image file from the one that Endian was offering as a download, the resulting checksum would be completely different and the last few letters would automatically be different. Okay, so the checksum is correct and we've downloaded a good image file. So now what we can do is burn it to disk. To burn this image file to a CD, I'm going to put a CD into my disk drive and if you already have disk burning software like Roxio or Nero or Image Burner, then that's great. But in Windows, all we need to do is right click on the image file and select Burn Disk Image. Alright, and I've done that. And once the disk is ready in the drive, I'll just click Burn. Okay, the disk is done burning, so all we have to do now is take out our disk, I'll close this window, and in the next video we will install the Endian software solution to our hardware.